Hey guys, you better glad to here once again. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a quick video on my review of today's, uh, tonight's Smackdown of April 4th, 2017. And we're going to go over some review on it real quick and compare, comparing it to Raw. We got to tell you what, once again, Smackdown has beaten Raw. I mean, Jesus. They buried Raw. They buried Raw so fucking deep, Raw's buried in the fucking foundation of the Hoover Dam. <clears throat> Raw's gotta do something quick to get something, get their ratings up, to even come com comparable to SmackDown. Um, SmackDown, of course, only two hours compared to the three on the Raw. They had quite a few matches. On this one, I have to say, I hardly fast forwarded through any of it. Uh, I pretty much almost watched the entire two hours. Um, I say, I'm not going to mention every match that was on here, but I think one of the only things I think was slow on the show was the thing with Mojo. I'm the winner of the Battle Royal. Uh, I think everything else is pretty, uh, good. We had, uh, Naomi, the women's champ versus Alexa Bliss. Um, Naomi won. Submission yet again. Uh, we had... The Miz and Marais <laughs> coming out. Of course, in the backstage, we break um, Cena and Nikki, and then after the commercial break, come out dressed as Cena and Nikki and making fun of him. Excellent. I mean, The Miz is just, I, I don't know why people um, don't think he's good. Good actor. Does really good. Um, and then. Well, they're talking as they're getting ready to leave the ring. They had a violinist come out, and then they deb debuted uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura, I'm sorry. He debuted. They didn't wrestle, but he came out to the violinist and inter basically interrupted uh, Maurice and uh, the Miz. Never seen this guy wrestle, <clears throat> but looks like he'll be he'd be good. Never seen them wrestle. But I want to see him wrestle, and I'm going to tell you why. His entrance. His theatrics. His music was all, basically the violin, you know, all lyrical. Not the lyric, I'm sorry. Acoustical. But the audience was singing his entrance song. The entire fucking audience. I even watched a few on YouTube. Live reactions to his music. That's a good following. You got something going there if you can get people to do that. And, I mean, usually you'll just get a couple people, especially a relatively new face. I mean, usually just get a couple people do it. But when you have everyone basically singing your song that has no lyrics, you got something going on. It makes me want to see him. Um, so that was good. I think what they should do, this makes me think they may try to do something with The Miz and um, Nakamura. I think that'd be a good matchup from what I'm understanding about this guy. Um, if they keep them both on SmackDown after the shakeup. Um, let's keep going. We'll make this a quick one. Um, Shane came out, mentioned about the, I'm going to call it the draft instead of the shakeup. That's what it is. AJ Styles came out, showed him respect, said he didn't want to go, didn't cause a fight, shook the hand, respected his way out, that's good, um, had Randy Orton and, uh, not Brad, I'm Luke Harper taking on Bray Wyatt and uh, Rowan in a tag team match with Orton winning and and Harper winning. And there's a few other matches in there. I'm not going to go over them all. They're all pretty good. Some of them I didn't know. These people. Some are fairly new. But good. This shows the difference between SmackDown and Raw. They know how to push storylines. They know how to let the performers do their job. And tell the story. And perform the match. That's what this all was folks. And this is why I say it. Smackdown has buried Raw. God, that was, it was good. And like I said, I didn't know a lot of these people. But they make it interesting. 
And that's what you do. And that's why I keep saying theatrics isn't dead. Some people want to say, oh, theatrics is dead. You could, no, it's not. If you do just right, like, like the Nakamura, I don't know the man. Don't know the man. Never seen him wrestle. Heard about him. Never seen him wrestle. I want to watch him wrestle. Because if that, if a performer can't get that much of a crowd to get behind him, there's something special there. Now, it could be totally lying. It could totally suck. But right now, that's what it's doing. And SmackDown knows how to do that. So, it was a great SmackDown. I hope you DVR'd it or you've seen it. Because if you didn't, you missed a good, you missed a good one. And that's it for this one. As always, go down below, like, comment, and subscribe. You guys take care, and I will see you all next time.